behind me is the, the plate that we're going to use to fabricate the new section required for the uh, Harbour Bridge. The steel itself is, is uh, from New Zealand Steel. It is grade 350L15 and it was made uh, in New Zealand and, and we're fortunate enough to have some in stock to be able to do this repair. So we'll work around the clock for this. The time frame to make this will be relatively quick. Where it will take a little bit longer is once we go through the coating system and understand what we're going to have to coat it with. So it's my understanding we will be doing like for like, so it'll have a metal arc spray with a seal coat. So it'll, it'll look exactly what is already there, except straight. So the process we need to start with for a start is to strip the plate. So we're going to do that with our, our cutting centre here, which will plasma cut it and it'll strip it into the strips that we need. It'll also drill the holes that we require for the splice joints and from there it'll go over to our other fabrication shop where we'll assemble the angle irons and, and weld out. So from after we've cut it in our cutting centre over there we'll bring the, the plate and the angle line over here and we'll put it into the workshop where they will assemble the, the, the three uh, three bits of plate which is the two angle irons and one plate make into a c-section they'll do that and then they'll form it together and put the plates across the top weld it up check all the dimensions tack it all up our welding inspectors will inspect it take it into our uh, coating center uh, to be um, coated and then from there it'll be just a, a simple delivery down the, the motorway to Auckland so we've actually had a long uh, association with the Auckland Harbour Bridge. Behind me is our, our pride of our fleet. It's the, um, one of the cranes that actually helped assemble the Auckland Harbour Bridge in its uh, 1956 or 59 or whenever it was um, fabricated and erected. So uh, the, the owner of Cullum Engineering at the time, Dave Cullum, uh, who's now deceased, um, purchased this uh, when he had the opportunity to and since then it has been assemble, assembling all the steel into our blast bay. Uh, uh, and it's fully certified and it's probably one of the cranes in our fleet that gets used every day.